First, let's start with a tropical disturbance. This is simply a discrete weather system with relatively organized shower and thunderstorm activity that originates in the tropics or subtropics. If a tropical forecast center like the Hurricane Center is interested in gathering more information or data about a specific weather system that may develop, it will then be called an invest. But just because it's called an invest, that doesn't necessarily correspond to a particular likelihood of development. Now, if that tropical disturbance is expected to strengthen and poses a threat of bringing tropical storm or hurricane conditions to land within 48 hours, it will be labeled as potential tropical cyclone. A cyclone being the broad name given to any tropical system. When the National Hurricane Center identifies a PTC, tropical watches and warnings can be issued as well. Tropical watches and warnings can be issued as well as all National Hurricane Center advisories and forecast track graphics. From there, you're likely more familiar with the terms. A tropical depression is a tropical cyclone with sustained winds of 38 miles an hour or less. A system becomes a tropical storm when wind speeds increase above 38 miles an hour. At this point, it would be given a name. A storm then becomes a hurricane when wind speeds increase to 74 miles an hour. From there, the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale takes us through the different categories of a hurricane from 1 through 5, with a category 3 and above being considered a major hurricane.